And there in the hospital bed, the Lord met with me. And everything changed. From that moment, I began to see the mission of God bursting out from my life. And the reason I was able to see that was because I was learning to attend to a voice that had become distant and dim. You see, I'd been trained as a theologian, and it had ruined my ear. And now I was learning to listen again, but the Lord was only give me so much and then ask me to do something about it. And so I was learning to become a wise man, how to listen and put into practice. And as we listen today, will we put into practice? As we hear today what it is that God is saying, will we do something about it? And if you will, you will be fulfilling the greatest calling. You'll be a disciple. You'll be a disciple, and as a disciple, you will be incarnating the word that has been spoken to you and living it out in your context, and as you do that, you will see that the transformation in your heart will bring the transformation in the place that you live, the place that you're called to. Francis Schaeffer used to take his young disciples up to a mountain in Switzerland above the community that he lived in at Labrie. And there on, on the pyramidal peak, he, he would stand on the very narrow path and he would look both ways and he'd say to his disciple, right here, the snow falls. And when spring comes, it will melt and run into streams and rivulets and rivers and finally, if it flows to the right, it will go into the Rhone and flow into the warm waters of the Mediterranean. If it melts and goes to the left, it will flow into streams and rivulets and rivers and finally flow into the mighty Rhine that will empty into the cold North Sea. And right here, at the Continental Divide, the issue is settled. Which way will the water flow? For me, the water of mission that carried me into all that God wanted to lead me into began to flow at that watershed moment in my life. The moment when I decided yes, I would listen and put into practice. I would choose to be a wise man, live as a disciple. And because of that, I began to see others who wanted to follow with me. Some that actually wanted to follow what it was that I was doing. Before I knew it, there were hundreds, and now a movement. What will happen from your decision? today? What will happen from this watershed today? What will happen and where will the water flow from your life? My simple challenge to you today is to take what it is that the Lord is saying to you, hear it, and by God's grace, put it into practice. Amen. Oh,